11 tips to tell non-believers about Islam. One whenever they try to insult Islam with an abusive question like, how come you Muslims hate Christians? Our belief is, the best way to handle the problems of presenting Islam and putting an end to the abusive attitudes of people from other religions, is to follow the way of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and stop following the ways of the enemies of Islam. This was his way, and we tried to follow it. You say this, thank you for asking me about my religion. Imagine their faces when you come back with something very polite and simple. You continue, you have an interesting question concerning Islam, and I congratulate you for seeking correct knowledge about our faith. Tip 2 now, you make a statement that usually commits your listener to stay for the answers, from your question, it seems you really would like to know the real truth about Islam and as a Muslim, it's my duty to share the message of worshipping God as one God, alone and without any partners. Tip 3 now say, Islam is not what some Muslims do, Islam is what all Muslims are supposed to do. Tip 4 do not debate or argue, this is against what Allah teaches us in Quran and not what our Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, taught us. I advise myself and all of us to stop looking for, loopholes in other religions and not to debate with them if it is not necessary. Actually, that is a very poor approach if you really want to help others learn the beauty of Islam. Now here are some more important tips and points to keep in mind. Tip 5 Muslims cannot lie about anything, especially about our religion. As simple as this sounds, it is something I have found to be important to mention to people in giving du'a. Islam insists on the truth even when it is against us. Tip 6 Don't be shy or hesitant to bring the proofs of Islam. Our sources are authentic and still available today in original Arabic language. This is most to Islam and not available in other ancient religions. Tip 7 Listen closely to what the other person is saying and qualify it against what they really mean. Example. Son of God, may not mean the same to all Christians and may even be a good way to open up the dialogue of the unity of God and how he could not really have a son, as this would imply many strange things. Tip 8 Keep in mind sometimes questions contain statements that are false and should not be treated as questions until the falsehood is removed. Example. Is your mother out of jail, yet? This cannot be answered with, yes, or, no. Because either way it implies that your mother is or has been in jail and this is not true. Tip 9 Don't try to be funny, cute or sarcastic. This is distracting and not appropriate. Tip 10 Watch for positive feedback. Very often, while giving the answer, we hear the person we are talking to saying something like, I didn't know that. Or they might say, this is actually something good. Tip 11 Stay alert, and when this occurs, you can ask them, are you ready to rethink your position? Or maybe something like, are you prepared to worship your God and your Lord without and partners? After all, isn't this what Islam is really all about? The most important subject is the worship of Almighty God, without any partners or associates or gods besides Almighty God.